Watch it. Document the whole shebang. Got a new roof going up. Little $16,000 roof. Roofing is getting expensive, guys. So sometimes if you buy a house, they say there's three things you gotta look out for. The roof, the framing, and the foundation. Now, we knew the roof was bad, but we still bought it because we factored it into the price. But if you bought a house and you didn't factor it into the price, whew, that might have just eaten up your profit right there. It's looking good, guys. Black, black. Black, black. The reason why we go with black roof is because it's the easiest color to match. We've had homes where it's been orange roofs or brown roofs. And when you, you know, it, it kind of makes it hard to pick a color, right? Like with black, you can paint the house white and it'll look good. You can paint the house gray and it'll look good. You can even paint the house blue and it'll look good. But we've had homes where they were like, a tan roof or a brown roof it's like really the only color the colors that look good with that kind of roof is like a beige or a color that's kind of old you know so that's just a tip for you guys when you're picking a roof reap the rewards later on and that's a bonus tip guys overall guys we're I mean we're kind of ahead of schedule um, I'm pretty happy with it overall we're gonna spend a pretty penny to shine up this house but when we removed a lot of the garbage the house was in better shape than we thought so we're not gonna spend that much um what else pj what else do they want to know well what are we doing here today so today today we were we're here today to pay the roofer now as you can see they're not done yet so guess what i'm not gonna pay them in full you never want to pay your contractors in full you pay them in installments now, this roof looks to be about, I don't know, 30% done. So I'm gonna take 16,000 divided by three and that's how much he gets. And that ensures that he finishes the job and it also ensures that if he ever runs away from the job, I only paid him for what he completed. So if I get somebody else in, I'm not over budget, I'm not overpaying. So that's a tip when you're dealing with contractor, guys. Guys, guys. We got gutters now. We got gutters. <laughs> oh, <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too valuable to go up. Just let them go up. <laughs> Here's a bonus tip, guys. Always add an extra 10% to whatever you're estimating on construction costs. For this particular one, I think we're gonna be able to get it actually a little bit under, which is rare because we overestimated a lot of stuff inside because of the amount of garbage that was in here. But I will tell you an example. For Pittsburgh, I think uh, as far as construction goes, we're gonna be over about 10% time-wise. We're gonna be over by a little bit as well. So if you factor that in and you're okay with that number, then take down the flip. If you're not, walk away. Let's go, guys. That's another tip. 